What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate and we're going to be doing a, uh, well actually messing around with some fonts. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Create a new file. Let's come over here and let's add some text. Okay, and now let's make our text a little bit bigger so that we can see it better. Alright, so the first thing we want to do here is that we want to select our text element. And then we want to come over here and click on the plus, the add web font. And once we click on this, you will see that it will load up our fonts for us within our dialog. And so what we want to do is that we're able to choose our fonts and we're able to watch it over here in real time. And so it will actually change in real time. And so let's make this a little bit wider. Move it over, bring it back up again. And so we're actually able to watch it change to where we can select the font that we want in real time. And this gives us the ability to choose the font that we want without having to choose a font and then go back and change it. So, I mean, you can still go inside of here and change the uh, code as well. This shows you where everything is at and it gives you the code to use within your project and what it actually looks like and so if you're ever wondering um, I wonder what this font is then it will give you the code right here to use and so this gives it a real quick and easy way for you to actually um, choose the font that you need for your project and then once you find the font you just choose add font and then it adds it to the font. And then you come over here to your library and it also adds it right here as well. So let's go ahead and close that out. And it adds it right there as well. So then you can go in and let's say that you want to add in some more um, fonts, then I mean more text, then you come over and it will continue to reuse that font. You come over and you select add web font from here and you click, it does not give you a live preview like it does whenever you come over here and you choose to select your font from this side. And so uh, if you select it from here, it gives you a live preview. You select from here, it does not give you a live preview. So it is best to select your plus right here for your, uh, your font to get live previews for the font that you choose to use within your project. Okay, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.